Okay, it's the night before we're gonna go fishing, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my my fishing dough bait together. Now we're going catfishing tomorrow, so I'm gonna show you my real simple uh, dough bait. Uh, I like to use this in a quick pinch um, because it's easy to make. So we got simply some sardines. Um, you can use any kind. Uh, you can even use oysters. Um, just nice little fishy taste, whatever that'll come with, um, uh, with with the liquid in it. And in this case, we're going to use some spring water. Now, you could use some in oil, but that's going to float and it may not actually uh, work into a ball like you want it to. Like into a dough ball. Then we've got some flour. Simply flour, that's going to be our coagulant. That's what's going to make it uh, bind up. And that's going to be our gluten. And lastly, your wife's. Uh, cleaning gloves. Now you can use that if you want to. If you want to be divorced the next day, it's up to you. Don't don't. Uh, I, you know I don't rem I don't recommend doing it. But if you have it, that's all you have. Then use it. Hey, welcome to your divorce. <laughs> gonna go ahead and throw in our sardines here, and we're gonna use two full cans, and then I'm gonna um, just add the flour to what I need. Now, like I said, this is in spring oil, but you can see it's in spring water, but you can see the oil floating on top of that. So I do want that, ta that, that taste in there. It's almost no different than shad. Uh, so that's why we're using this. We're going to add some flour to it. Now, it's already got the water in there, so you don't need to do much with water. But but I'm going to go ahead and start adding that flour to it and start working it over, right? Just want to mush it in there. Make a nice paste. This is going to be the best little dough bait you've ever used. And I got my container there that I'm going to put it in. Now you need to give this dough bait some time to uh, kind of work over just like you do when you're making pasta. You got to let it rest, okay? And you're going to put it in the refrigerator and that's going to make it that's going to make it thicken up a little bit. Probably could use a bigger bowl, but this is going to work fine. Something that maybe you're going to throw away. And you want to get it to the thickness of, of pasta. How pasta is when you roll it over. Just start making it to like cookie dough. And it'll just just to remind you, it'll thicken up as it sits in the refrigerator. Now it's gonna start working into a ball. See how that flour is starting to to glutenize there? It's starting to clump together. That's what you want. You see how that glove is getting all sticky and stanky? That's what you want. <laughs> If you wanna, if you want a divorce, that's what you want. <laughs> I got a few brownie points in storage, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> so now that this is working over a little bit, I'm gonna make sure that it's going into a nice little ball. It's still sticky. I'm gonna add just a little bit more flour. Now we're almost there, so it don't take much. A little bit more flour and that'll start making it get into a ball where I can pinch it and grab it and form it now go ahead and put this in a container just like that gonna put that right into that container and now we're gonna go ahead and clean off our gloves and just work off those little pieces pinch it down into a little ball and as you can see that's starting to ball up just like a little dough ball starting to ball up just like that so we're going to add that to our our base in there all right and that's ready you gotta do is just punch it down in there and that's JTO's sardine dough bait. Three. Oh. oh, does that look beautiful or what? Yes, 
Yes, yes, layers and layers of flavor. Mmm, let's get ready to eat this. All right, now we gotta do this the whole, you know, just like, I'm from Chicago, so we have to be able to eat it like you normally do, okay? You gotta get your ankle points on the counter there. You gotta dig into that. I bite upside down. Mmm. 